People in Decatur are begging for the violence to stop after two people were murdered yesterday. That's after a weekend during which six people were shot. WCI 3's Courtney Bunting joins us from the newsroom tonight. So, Courtney, are all of these connected? Well, Paul, that's a question I asked the police department, and they didn't say if the, the two that happened yesterday are connected, but they did say that the six over the weekend were. Yesterday, two people were killed, the first around noon on South Hayworth Avenue by sunset. 33-year-old Timothy Clemens was found dead from assault wounds. The second happened around 10 last night. That was on Leafland by Church. Police found 20-year-old J. Leon Cummings dead in a vehicle. He was shot several times in his head and chest. I talked to Elijah England. He's an activist indicator and says the recent violence affects more than just those directly involved. It's really a community killer because, you know, I'm seeing people um, that I used to work with or, you know, that I know that are saying, oh, I'm afraid to go down the street. I'm afraid to go to the store because, you know, that man and his son, they were just out and his 10 year old got shot and it was really just a, you know, a stray bullet. And England feels the violence is also a big reason why the city's population keeps going down. He feels more should be invested in improving infrastructure like repaving roads, and also there should be more done to attract new businesses. He thinks that would improve things for everyone living there and also help with decreasing violence. I also talked to a neighbor who was across the street when last night's shooting happened. Coming up at 6, I'll tell you what she saw. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Certainly those fears expressed by England are understandable with the violence in the last few days. It affects everyone in that community for sure. Absolutely. All right, Courtney, thanks. Well, there is an anti-violence vigil coming up on Monday. It's being organized by a group called Pain to Peace. That's happening at Central Park and will start at 3 o'clock.